Alright, this is part two of the same tutorial, um, exporting from Blender to Torque. Right now we have a very awesome tool, the Torque Show tool. This is an amazing tool. Um, I really, I would like to go on, but we have things to get on with. Right now we we set up um, directories where we keep our projects so that you can load it up and get to work immediately. I love that. So right now we're gonna open, uh, we're gonna open the katana. Now it is different from what I previously named it before but this is the previous version in fact let's just open the exact version just to um, avoid confusion here we go alright load up the mech katana now this um, has to do with the script that's something else we don't have to worry about that but as you see it loads perfectly fine um, moving slow with my nine frames per second but forget about that I just want to move on to the level of detail over here as 80 now right now um, we're at pixel size 3 like and change so as we see here and even when we do change over all right uh, when I loaded it I forgot to um, detail map it. I'll detail map it. I'll make another tutorial about detail mapping. It'll be really easy. But this is what we have right now and this is how it will show up in a game. When you want to size something up, just to let you know, two blender blocks, not two miniature blocks, but two tall blocks are the equivalent to six feet in human height. Three feet being one blender block. I'll go over that later as far as sizing things up. We should be able to have a, a DTS model um, that you port pretty soon I'll show you how to make a decent sized model it won't be anything uh, I do realize that a lot of people are very artistic and they're not the superman of the 256 colors painted onto a model but when I show you how to texture map on from high poly to low poly models not only will you appreciate it uh, you will find that your workload is a whole lot easier alright the next tutorial I'll be working on would be going over to vehicles